day, my loves. I'm a little bit blinded because I've been staring at this beautiful sun. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a gorgeous view. It's of the mountains and the sky and the clouds and the sun, and it's absolutely stunning. And it just made me think I haven't done Insight from Mikar video in a while. And the insight I'm getting now is why do some people become a channel for the guardians and um, the light workers? And like they're a conduit for spirits to talk to them. Why do some people get it and not others? Is it real? Is it a sham? And I was thinking sometimes I get these like moments of flow of information that come to me and I don't know where it comes from. So I've actually experienced it, but I don't experience it all the time. So I get jealous of others who do, but it's kind of a burden in a way, I would think, because they feel like maybe obligated to talk to people all the time. I don't know. I get jealous a lot, which is a problem. And, and that's part of this video about insights from Mikar. You are enough. You're perfect. Everyone here is in what I call a canopy of creation. They're doing their thing. You're doing your thing. You can be in by others, sure, so that you can make moves to do something in the direction that may be that what they're doing, which helps you grow in that direction. But you don't have to be jealous of them. Knowing that you are enough, that you are your perfect little lotus flower, someone else might be a magnolia flower, but you do you, you be your magnolia flower, you be your lotus flower. You don't have to try to strive to be a different flower, you be your own flower, do you understand?
negative, like it's driven negatively. Like I'm looking at my board like what the fuck is this? And then it's distracting me. But that's bullshit. You know, it's just a distraction. It's just our ego wanting to play and talk and tease and pull you away from your higher self and from the truth. So how you get into the right frequency to hear spirit, to connect to source, to get to that level, that quantum field where we are connected to that Akashic record, to all that knowledge that shamans have, that Native Americans have, that like spiritual leaders have or healers have, we just have to operate from the heart, which means like I see litter on the ground, I see pollution and it gets me in a negative state and I get into this negative vibration. It's a low vibration. I get um, body pain and then I get mad that my body is hurt. Instead of changing your perception about what's going on around you. So you see trash and be like, I'll pick that up or um, you just accept it. I'm not saying that it's okay to litter. It's okay to murder. It's okay to rape. It's okay to pillage. It's okay to burn. Like there's so much atrocities going on right now. So much degradation to our planet, to our fellow humans, to earthlings, to animals. But to bring our vibration lower, to be like, fuck you, motherfucker, for killing that animal the way you did, or running over that vegan activist, or, you know, shooting that poor kid, Elijah, like all this crap, like the war that's going on in Syria, in Libya, in Iran, in Iraq, Afghanistan, um, problems in all these countries, Venezuela, like, you can let that bring you down and you can be really upset over it. Like really upset over it, but that brings your vibration down. It, it, it detaches you from hearing from your higher self, from listening to source, from, a, from tuning, to, tuning in to angels or God or these messages from the divine. We can't do that when we're in a negative state. So we have to just accept what's going on. It doesn't mean it's okay, we just accept it. And when we shift our vibration, it actually shifts the frequency around us and it will um, create change. It's like a ripple. You throw a rock in the river or, I mean, you know, a pond that's placid and it just ripples out and it radiates out. That's what you have to do. You have to be that rock that creates that first ripple and you're not going to do it from a negative frequency. So operating from the heart, accepting what is, accepting yourself, and talking about what you're grateful for every day. What are you grateful for? Every fucking morning, every evening. Hug yourself, tell yourself what you're grateful for about yourself, tell yourself what you're grateful for for the day. I mean, I just did that. I was like, you know what, I'm actually really grateful. And I talked about things that were really pissing me off earlier, but then I was like, you know, I'm grateful for these things. And I truly felt it. And then the next day I got a call from my manager that I, you know, booked a film. And I was like, really? Oh my God, like I'm so excited. And that's because I was in the right frequency to attract what I wanted. And that's what happens, guys. To get messages from source, to get tuned in to your higher self, to God, to the divine. Operate from the heart. Operate from your heart chakra, your center. Accept things for what they are. Lead without judgment and lead more with love. And you will see a shift. I promise you, you will. Love and love and love and love and light to you, people. Lots of love and light to you. I am home to my apartment and I've got to go because my phone is going to die. Peace.